I'm Rear Admiral Tina Alvarado. I represent uh, Navy Medicine. And um, what the Navy Community Outreach Program does is it tries to pair flag officers, um, admirals, with um, cities that don't necessarily have a big Navy presence. So Charlotte was picked as one of the um, cities in which we come and try to do outreach with various organizations, both in the private and the public sector. I think because the university setting is so um, perfect for research opportunities, it's sort of a natural link. And I think the universities also have, you know, they have the social conscience to want to deal with problems um, of national defense and taking care of our nation's veterans is, you know, very high calling. And, um, and you have recruited some of the best. I mean, you've got uh, Christine, who's, you know, from the Department of Veterans Affairs, who has, you know, over 15 years in, in veterans health research. The thing that surprised me the most is the comprehensive uh, effort that the university is taking towards enrolling and teaching uh, higher education for veterans in the military. I think that you have some really robust programs here that I did, was not aware of before I came. And um, it's amazing to me, being so far from a military facility, that you are reaching out to the veterans enrolled at UNC Charlotte. I met a one a Marine Corps um, veteran of, I believe he said eight, or, eight and a half or nine years, six combat tours, Special Forces Marine, here studying justice, wants to go work for the State Department eventually, is getting a great education, seems to be well integrated into the university, actually volunteers. I just think it's, it's wonderful to see uh, someone who's a hero in my eyes, um, getting to live the next aspect of his life.